Hello and welcome to BMAX Academy. Today we're with you for a special session. With me is Ms. Hema and together we'll be tackling a subject that is a big problem for many students who wish to take international English examinations and that is English grammar. What is the problem that students face when they are trying to improve their grammar? So from our experience, we can give you some idea of why we think that is and you can use this in your own preparation as helpful advice and guidelines. So what do you think ma'am that students suffer from English grammar inefficiency? So I think uh, they're scared to use the language. I see a lot of mother tongue influence as they speak. and. Uh, they are really scared to use language in front of others. This fear should be overcome. They should overcome this fear in order to improvise. Yes, probably because they've never used the language before, right? Yeah. So perhaps they've never used the language in school or they've never studied this language before. Maybe. But that should not be a hindrance, right? Yes. They need to overcome this. That is one important uh, reason. Is there any other reason you think that? Uh, I think uh, like there is lack of practice. Yes, very true. So, grammar involves practice. Because the more you use the language, the more familiar you become. For instance, everybody has a mother tongue, right? And we've been using that for many years now. And through practice, whether you've been reading the newspaper or watching the news or talking with your family, you become familiar with this language, it's the different types or styles of the language and you know how to use it very well. English is a language and it's going to take time to learn. So it's important to apply yourself and learn the fundamentals and it's very important not to be scared or shy to learn as you would starting from school again. What are the basics of English language? What are the parts of English language? Perhaps the parts of a sentence, the parts of speech. What are the different kinds of words? How do they work together? So the rules of grammar or the laws of the language, it's very important to apply yourself and learn it again. Or perhaps if you've learned it before, at least refresh the basics. Wouldn't you agree, ma'am? Yes, sir. Another common issue is the fact that people need to be patient. We've noticed that students are impatient, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's not only about impatience. They're not ready to accept any kind of changes and they're not ready to accept their mistakes too. Yeah, so I guess a lot of people come into studying English with preconceptions, right? They think they know how it works. But the practical difficulties of learning a language are to be expected. And uh, no matter how hard you want to learn the language or how much you wanted to finish studying it quickly, it's going to take time. Like for example, if you went to a hospital, right? The doctor is going to first check what your problem is and then the doctor will prescribe some kind of treatment and that's going to take time. Or if you want to lose weight, you will have to go on a diet and do some exercise and that will definitely take you a certain amount of time. In the same way, Learning grammar takes patience and a certain amount of time, proper exercises, right? With the understanding of the fundamentals and I think there is one more issue, madam. Feedback, isn't it? Yes, sir. What do you think is the reason? Feedback issues. Students are really not ready to get a guidance from a proper, from a person who has a very good knowledge in English. And they're not ready to get a proper feedback from any person who is qualified. Right. So, I guess it is because we live in a time where there is so much information available freely that everybody thinks that if you go online, you can get whatever you need and that you know as much as anybody else about the language. The internet can give you the illusion that you can be fully prepared in the best way you know how. But, you would need a qualified trainer. And if you're studying for English, then Cambridge or Oxford materials are the best that you could possibly use. And remember, a qualified trainer is somebody who has at least cleared the exam that you want to write 
or at the very least has a foundation in English as a qualification. So you must be prepared to take corrections and apply yourself and learn. And that is the only way you actually improve your language. There are no shortcuts to it. You need to, know the, you need to understand the rules, apply yourselves to becoming familiar with it, and of course, expose yourself to the language. I would say there are many students who don't get the chance to practice English, right? Yes, sir. Even I would agree to that. Yeah, so when you're living in the land of your, wherever you're from, right, where everybody uses the mother tongue, this is another major problem. You never really learn the language unless you practice it. So for this, I'd like to tell you the story of one of our, what do you say, esteemed faculty members, right? He didn't know how to speak English, like he didn't have the exposure to a lot of people who spoke English. But he was a big fan of automobiles. And he decided to watch the BBC program, right? The two channels that are known for very good English are the British Broadcasting Corporation, BBC, and the Cable News Network, that's CNN. You get British English to the BBC and American English to CNN. So he decided to watch Top Gear, his favorite automobile show on BBC. And in doing so, he applied himself regularly. Every day he would watch for an hour. And now, he speaks English as fluently as anybody else. So, you see, there are ways in which you can learn the language, even if you don't have anybody to talk to in English. The important thing is not to give up, apply yourself properly, follow the rules of the language, and you will definitely succeed. There might be failures, but remember, failures are stepping stones to success. Eight years of trustworthy service, over 50,000 successful candidates. BMAX Group of Institutions. For more details, log on to www.bmaxacademy.com.